Hello everyone, this is PD at Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and today we're going to be unboxing the corner piece of my new desk system. Now just a quick reminder, this is uh, made by Bush and it's from, um, it's the Envoy series. And uh, well, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, the main thing I'm looking for really is the corners. Uh, these ones aren't too bad. Uh, the corners down there look a little bit beat up. A lot of times when I get office furniture, it's FedEx to me. And if the corners are beat up when I'm opening up the package, the corners themselves are on the actual wood are really beat up. Now we just finished doing the return, and the return is packaged really well inside, so I'm hoping this is equally as packaged well. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll open up, we'll find out. So let me see, let me find the knife. Now let's go ahead, we'll cut through this plastic. I'm probably going to have to line this down to actually open it up anyway. But let's go ahead and we'll get through the majority of this plastic. Alright, so we've got the edges cut open here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw the flap back. <laughs> there we go. And uh, let's see, we're given instructions. Uh, it's kind of funny because these instructions are thinner than the ones that came with the return. Uh, which I'm not sure where they are right now, but I'd say it's at least half the size. Uh, instructions. Uh, let's go ahead and take some of this off because what we really want to see is how well the corners are protected. Into the garbage pile. Now this actually went around all the pieces. Uh, so did the side. Pull this one out again. Side is protected really well. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. I got a little too much styrofoam there. But uh, yeah. Corners well protected, crisp, sharp. The inserts. Ooh, a box of goodies. Uh, that actually might be the shelf that goes underneath. Now, the desk was actually probably about. What, about 10 inches bigger than we actually thought it was going to be? We didn't measure it at first, so we just kind of eyeballed it in the store. But that's fine. We've got room for it. Uh, I'm just going to go down to the other end here and take a look at the corners down there. And then uh, I'll go ahead and put it together. Alright, so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to leave this piece of styrofoam in because I am going to have it tipped a little bit on an angle. But if you look at all the corners, uh, there's a little bit of foam in between each of the, the layers too, which is really nice. Uh, but yeah, the corners are really well protected. Uh, I can honestly say this is probably about the best packaging I've seen on office furniture. Uh, quite happy with it. So let's go ahead and we'll put this together and we'll see what it looks like once it's all put together. Hello everybody, this is a review of the Envoy Collection uh, corner desk and I guess also kind of a desk tour. Uh, so I've finished putting the desk together, and here's the corner piece uh, right there, and we go into the return. And we actually do have a little room here where I have the tripod. We're going to be going ahead and putting uh, one of the filing cabinets here, one of the smaller filing cabinets. So, uh, the desk. Let's go ahead and look at some of the features of the corner desk that I talked about. Uh, with the USB hub. Uh, it wasn't strong enough just on its own to be able to use all four ports and transfer data. So I had to actually go out and get an adapter and power it. And power it, it's fine, it works great. Uh, all my devices charge through it that should be charging through USB, except for my iPad. The iPad will not charge through it. Or at least it charges very slowly. But my iPhone will charge and everything else. But anyway, it gives me more than enough room that I need. You know, I've got my speakers, my phone, speaker control, uh, miscellaneous you know, tablets and stuff like that that I use for game development. Uh, there's a remote to the TV which is up there. 
this computer here I use for game development and playing games, creating tutorials, stuff like that, kind of the recreational computer. Uh, there's the mic I use for uh, making the tutorials and you can see the computer over there on the floor, that's the one I use for the game server. So that's the one we have our Photon server running on, Smart Fox is running on it. Uh, actually our Minecraft server is on there now too. Uh, it's holding it pretty good, it has everything running on it and it's fine. And this is the computer over here that I actually use for work. Uh, but that's about it. So everything fits on the desk. I'm very happy with it. Uh, the only thing I'm not happy with are the scratches. Let me get these out of the way. I'm going to zoom in on them. Now uh, it does seem to be a scratch magnet. Now it's just your standard Apple wireless keyboard. Let me flip it over here. It's got these little rubber things on it and plastic so <laughs> these are the only things that touch the desk so they should not be scratching the desk I've had these devices like this keyboard and the touch little touchpad here on several different desks and surfaces and I've never ever had it scratch uh, so I'm not sure why this desk is getting scratched up but I do actually have like a big mat that I use for uh, playing Magic the Gathering and that should be big enough to actually fit all three devices on there and I'm going to try that out and hopefully uh, that will cover everything up. Now the scratch is not the end of the world, but really that's my only gripe. Uh, it's solid construction. It feels really sturdy. I could probably stand on this, no problem. You know, if, I've, if I had to, I'd probably just get a ladder and stand beside it. But anyway, fits together nicely. Has enough bells and whistles that uh, I would recommend. I like the desk. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see everyone later. Bye-bye.